let's check out this black rifle company thing with brendan shaw let's see why i'm going for this this should be a fun ride this should be a fun ride this should be a fun ride let's check this out <laughs> honestly like i love coffee like everybody else does i drink a i drink an ungodly amount of tea that has some caffeine in it i've also been known to drink six cup of coffees a day but i also don't you know i've tried to claw it back a little bit but coffee is just like camera's been on the whole time <laughs> big up who is this Big up Ricky Pitcher, appreciate you. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Big up Ricky Pitcher. <laughs> Big up Ricky Pitcher. <laughs> Big up Ricky Pitcher, appreciate you. Um, yo, big up Steve from Leeds. Well going to my Leeds family tree. Welcome, well going to my Leeds man them. Big up the Leeds man them. Big up the Leeds man. Uh big up my main road man them. Um what's saying to you? Or oh, Ellen Road man them, actually, main road. What I talk about? Um making coffee your personality is an interesting choice, isn't it? Again, I hate to rag on you Americans, but this is a very American thing to make coffee your personality. It's like, what? It's like, huh? And Americans like to take the piss of us. You guys take the piss of us English people by saying we're tea and crumpet merchants, which, you know, I drink tea, but I don't really eat crumpets. They're fucking horrible and dry. Crumpets are basically, you know, an English version of a fucking, of a biscuit, right? That you guys having Popeyes, those fucking horrible scone type things. So I don't even fucking eat crumpets, but you niggas are out here making coffee your personality, putting butter in your coffee. Like what? Absolute wild people. Yes, big up Oliver too. Big up Oliver, another lead to the masses. Good, I'm getting some UK people. Look at, I'm getting some UK viewers. Yay. Before it's only Yanks that give a shit about me. Only the Americans. Big up the Americans only gave a shit about me. Now I'm getting some fucking UK people in the house. Love to fucking see it. Big up the UK man them. We're here. We're live and direct. We're in the fucking chat. Or get me. We're drinking fucking beers. We're harassing women. We're starting fights. <laughs> <laughs> we're making very insensitive comments about indian and pakistani people you get me <laughs> big up all my uk people the last time brendan actually had a lot of male friends outside of comedy bros touching each other touching each other bro bros barbells and coffee yeah man dude how much do you lift how much do you drink coffee guns coffee barbells and cheating on your wives that's the thing man that's the that's fucking the black rifle coffee way guns barbells and cheating on your wives fucking love that shit bro let's fucking smash some bartenders let's swash smash some waitress let's smash some fucking barbacks do you know what I mean let's fucking go baddies guns barbells and more oh look at that we see some itches out here right itches everyone white by the way no colors right yeah no colors loads of fucking ex sorority girls but no 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 uh no Latinas, no girls of color, right? Nothing else. Just straight up fucking American sweethearts everywhere. Everyone hugging each other. Also, by the way, also, also, I find it interesting. Guys like this. These kind of guys are usually the most homophobic in my personal experience, but they also do the most homophobic things. They love fucking hugging each other. They love working out topless. They love slapping each other's bums. They love pinching each other's nipples, but they also very against sucking other people's dicks. What, how does that work? How does that work? Please someone tell me how does that work? They fucking do jujitsu when they're 40 year old and never going to become professional they just enjoy having another man fucking you know scissoring them on the floor i find that very interesting super homophobic but they do a lot of gay things we need a crossbow i couldn't think of a better thing than jared taylor to have a crossbow this, he's, 
you know, they're obsessed with all their boasts. What do you need? T-shirt with American flag on it, a beard, and a trucker hat. All right, that's the fucking persona, isn't it? You need a T-shirt with a flip of the American flag, which has got these like you know weapons on it, these guns and something else, right? It's a flip on the American flag, so people know you're a patriot. And you need a beard to show that you're grizzled, right? And you're out there in the fucking outdoors. And you need a weathered hat that also shows that it's been you know hit by the elements. That's a sign of a real man. Now I, I have like half bow. Right? This is like a, I'm practically Imagine just being can't you just be into this shit without being this type of guy? Can't you just have bow and arrows at home? Can't you just have straps? Can't you just, you know, be fucking swigging copious amounts of coffee without looking like this? Is that possible? Just doing it for fun without looking like this. I'm sure it's possible. But it all look like this. An archer. This is my new baby. Yeah. Yeah. It comes with a case. That was your selling factor. Yeah, it's like it came with a case. <laughs> I need, I need six hundred arrows though, you know. Six hundred. I need, I need to have enough. Yeah, all the way up, locked in. How many crossbows have you owned, Jared? So you're just starting with a Ferrari. Yeah, she's on. All right, put an apple on the head. Oh, sweet. Where's this? Must be fun to shoot, huh? Must be fun to shoot. I never shot one. Must be fucking fun to shoot. I'm not oh, yeah. right. I know everything about the new crossbow. It's no big deal. Okay, where are we at? First person I'm shooting when I get one of those is fucking Eric Griffin. I'm lining him up and I'm shooting his tits, his belly button, the side tits he has, that stupid face. That's the first person I'm lining up. Eric fucking Griffin. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that thing's on. Yeah, she is on. <laughs> That bicep. <laughs> <laughs> so big. Curious, got an appointment with uh, Crossbow Weekly. They're gonna do an article. On it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little more yeah. They all stand very close to each other, innit? They stand very close to each other. Like, what is going on here? They stand so close to each other. Like, God damn, give me, some, give me some room to breathe, man. I can't even smell my own breath. I'm smelling yours. What do you want to do? Do you want to kiss me or something? My nigga, do you want to kiss me? Do you want to fucking snog? Do you want to fucking snog? Do you want me to tongue you down right now? Do you want me to jack you off? Is that why you're standing so close to me? Like, give, give man some room, man. Fuck. Hello, Hank. We're uh, introducing this Brendan Shaw. If you don't know him, hey, should. Brendan. Papa's in the house. Yeah, the inf infamous episode of Joe Rogan. Brian and Joe didn't want to air that show. It's my idea to air the show. Just because I felt like that's real. And I, I think what made the firing the kid and kind of my success outside of fighting was just being real and bringing people on this journey. So his L made his career, really. You think about it, right? An L made his career. An L made his career. Brian had the idea. He goes, uh, dude, our show's doing well. We should do live podcasts. He goes, Rogan and I are talking about it. You're a great storyteller, man. You get up there, you're just going to tell a story. Brendan Schaub. So they used to do live podcasts before. Why did, why did they stop doing it? They should have continued doing it because they could have become way more successful doing live pods of T Fat K continuing on from there instead of their individual comedy careers personally. But it took too much time apart, too much time off from doing it. And by the time they came back, the first one they did back was in fucking Texas, which makes no sense when they're based out in LA. But hey, we moved. By the way, I love that little extra TRT head meat he's got going on there, Brendan, right? Look at that extra TRT head meat there. That extra forehead you get from taking HGH and TRT. Fucking gorgeous. He's pound for pound. Well, he's also a cop. He's just not as good. Captain B. Shaw here. You got a six four seven on it. People said to piss out of this stuff, but I actually liked it. I actually liked that they made an effort, right? This is stuff from T5K 3D. They actually tried to make an effort. This is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I know people make fun of it nowadays, but this is so much more... They, they're making so they, this is so this is much more of an effort than what they do nowadays basically nowadays is just the most low effort thing ever this was actually them trying to be funny them trying to actually put on a fun show i actually didn't mind this i don't know i'm not gonna lie and someone stole my car 
again. Brendan Schaub. Uh, cheese and rice. It's been like latte. In pound for pound. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go shoot some shit at the range today and uh, have some fun. I'm gonna learn to handle a gun. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> okay. Let's be real. Good thing we have trained professionals here, so we're gonna yeah, be I okay. I think you guys can handle. And on top of that, we're gonna. Prio Zempic, look how normal looking Prio Zempic Bapa looks. Yo, big up a uh, horror movie hustle. Appreciate you. Big up AZ, we out here. Do you watch Ty Rivera content on Random Show? Who's Ty Rivera? I don't know who that is. Who the fuck is Ty Rivera? Let me let me check. Let me let me Google that. Who on my phone? Let me, who the fuck is Ty Rivera? Ty Re who? Ty Rivera. Who the hell is that? Get yes, Ty Rivera. Oh, that's a guy that was crying about the comedy mothership, right? The gay dude with the piercings. They don't pay us enough money. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that, man. I don't know. I like my I like my car crashes. I like my horror shows, but there's a bit too much mental illness going on there, man. There's a bit too much like there's a lot of trauma going on there. I don't think I can handle that. He sort of seems like a weird tattooed version, comedy version of like a Chris Chan. I can't do that. That's too miserable to me. I saw some of his content. I was going to cover it one show, but I was like, you know what? I can't do this, man. This this looks too miserable, even for me. It just looks too sad. Too, too, too sad. Like, too sad, man. Too sad. I can't do it. Obviously, if you guys tell me to do it, I'm a fucking man of the people. I will obviously cover it if you want, but... That shit's depressing, bro. Like, it's really depressing. I'm not going to lie. Very, very depressing. Like, you can clearly see the guy has some issues going on there. Um, I don't know if it's fun to kind of dunk on him because of that. But I could be wrong. By the way, who's this guy? Why does he look familiar? By the way, if anybody goes in the... Who's, who's this guy in the front? Is he the only black guy of coffee? Is that why? Why does he look like somebody? Does he look like an actor or something? Who is this guy here? Why does he look familiar? Who is this dude? But yeah, Bree... Pre Ozempic Papa actually looks really what he looks like he works out here. You can see from his traps, he, the, the, you know, his physique overall. This guy looks like he actually works out, you know, obviously with the help of some other things. But, you know, I think he looked better here than he does now, even though he still looked bloated here. He looks better here than he, did, than he does nowadays, in my personal opinion, even though he probably thinks he looks fat here. We're going to do some epic business stuff together. We're going yes. to help launch a coffee company. Sign also, this is this is actually back. Okay, this is back right for coffee. That's why I didn't recognize it. Some deals. Yeah. Roast yeah. some beans. Look at what they did back in the day. Black Rifle Coffee basically flew, Brend flew Brendan out to Texas to come shoot guns and stuff back in the day. Nowadays, does he even get a sponsorship from Black Rifle Company? Nope. Is his coffee still going with them? Nope. Does he get flown out by them? Nope. Does he even bring them up on the show anymore? Nope. Pretty wild. Yeah, this is called an MPX, which is essentially a submachine gun. It shoots a nine millimeter, just like a Glock or anything like that. Uh, he's got a suppressor on it, but this is so super quiet. one of the funnest guns to shoot out there. There you go, son. Brendan shooting all his haters. Me, Unique, 10 Minutes of Shorb, Podcast Cringe, here to try. Better just head topping us all. <laughs> Who would be the first to like cry or ask? For, I wouldn't ask. For, I wouldn't say mercy. Actually, I'll just take it on the chin. Yeah, it's f fair enough, mate. I made about hundred videos on you. It's all, it's all good. You know what I mean, I think Unique would cry. You, I, I was only joking. You know, Unique would definitely plead for his life. I wouldn't plead for my life. I'd be like, nah, whatever, man. You know what I mean? Take me to my maker. Let me go meet my grandma. I'm all good. You know. <laughs> I take the death on the chin. Ten minutes of Shorbs guys would definitely run. The ten minutes of Shorb guys would definitely run. They'd be like trying to run. I mean, falling over, getting up again, pulling each other down, <laughs> tripping each other up. They'd definitely be running. <laughs> I'd be just, I'd be just all zen, sh s s sitting like um, fucking Torogana on fucking Shogun. Uh, I'd be like Torogana on Shogun. I'd just be sitting there. Hi, go, Brendan, shoot me. Kill me, you know? Kill me. I mean, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be fucking bear zen. Oh, he missed them all. He's missing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> did he miss them all? Hold on, did he miss them all? Is he shooting at that blue target? 
Yeah. He's missing. Missing it. Oh, you got one there. You got one there. You got one there. Okay, he's got. Fucking hell, he's a horrible shot though, isn't it? He's shooting like a fucking mum. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? That's fun. It's a lot of fun. Look, that's. When do you see Brendan smile like that ever? Not even cars make you smile like that. That's what happens when you have actual bros you're hanging out with. You're away from the missus, away from the family. You get to hang out with the dudes, you know, drink some fucking tins, get some bevies in you, right? Bang some prozzies, and then go back to our hotels and touch each other and fuck each other, right? <laughs> I mean, I've been in San Antonio for, I don't know, I got here five minutes ago. I'm shooting guns. <laughs> Yeah. I've never shot this. Right here. This is the uh, Sig Rattler. I love Unique, but what does being a veteran mean, by the way? Big up the stream chat. Who told you said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who says he's a veteran? Big up Andrew W. What does that mean, being a veteran, though? Really? Does being a veteran mean, like, if I was born in a hood and I say I was in a gang, but I wasn't? I was in a, I was in a hood where gangs were around, but I didn't actually partake in one, so I can't really say I was in a gang. Like, what does actually being a veteran mean? What did he do? Did he fire a gun? Was he, you know, was he applying band-aids to the fucking guys when they came back, you know, from doing a fucking tour? What did he actually do? Was he just cleaning the boats? Like, what did he do? You know what I mean? This whole veteran thing, there's a bit too much fucking sucking off of the fucking armed forces over there in America. Like, what did you actually do? Unless you murk somebody, unless you went and killed some fucking 12-year-olds in fucking Afghanistan, I don't want to hear it, personally. Do you know what I mean? Unless you fucking took a blade to a fucking mum's neck in, in the fucking Middle East somewhere and saw her fucking blood spill over on the floor while her kids cried and he head topped them. I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't want to hear it. What, because you fucking, you know, played the fucking trombone on a fucking boat. I should respect you. Get fucked. <laughs> and it was their way of saying, how do we make the smallest gun that will fucking rock your head off? And that's why it's called the Rattler. I've never shot it before, so... Oh, it's not bad at all. Oh shit, Unique went to prison. Okay, now we're talking. If Unique went to prison, he's a fucking badass. Because I've always liked him anyway. All right? I've always liked him. I'm copying please now. I've always liked Unique. Unique's my guy. I've always liked him. If he went to fucking prison, now I respect him, right? Because now you're in the fucking, you're in the building full of jungles. So you're the, I'm doing a papa there. You're in the building that's an actual jungle full of fucking animals. Jesus Christ, you're in the room full of jungles. I'm getting I'm get I'm catching paparisms. I'm catching shorbinisms. That was fucking awful. Please rewind the tape, delete that, don't pin it up again next like me, right? But anyway, big up fucking unique. You went to prison. I respect you more for that, okay? Real niggas up in this shit. Oh. The most oh, I got some for you. I'm not gonna lie. If I lived in America, I think I'd be at a gun rage every fucking day. Forget strip clubs, forget you know prostitutes, forget pickup trucks, forget video games. If I lived in America, I'd be at the gun range every single day, just blasting at fucking targets. Bo 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 bo. I'd be going nuts, bro. I wouldn't even have that many guns on me or even in my house. I would just be going to the fucking gun room, just letting it fucking fly. Just picturing an old teacher as a target. Just picturing some person online. Just picturing some fucking girl that left me on scene back in the day. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Just blasting at that thing. Just picturing fucking Eric Griffin and that fucking smile he does. Boom. Or George and that smile he does. Boom. Just got real. Right there. What is that gun? It's a scar heavy. Scar 17, 308. Scar 17, come on. And then, and I'll get and then I'll get a property with some land. So I could just fight I'll just fling grenades. Like FPS Russia style. Just be flinging grenades. Boom boom. I mean boom boom boom. IEDs. Boom boom. I'd be going nuts, bro. Be going nuts. I swear to God. I might even do that wild shit where I get a hair, you know, a bunny rabbit, just lay out of a cage and let him run. And then boom. You know what I mean? Fuck animal cruelty, man. Boom. <laughs> I swear I'd be going crazy. Come on. Scar 17, you fool. 
Look at that man, look at the sound of that. Do you hear the sound of that? Imagine taking someone else imagine taking someone's head off of that. Hear the sound. Hear the fucking sound. I wanna put it up. Hear the sound of this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Honestly, imagine blowing up someone's head like that. Must be so satisfying. Just boom, boom. Just the head just exploding. <laughs> 20 bucks later. <laughs> It'd be so fun. <laughs> See, this thing shoots really small pistol rounds. Oh, yeah, those are tiny. <laughs> so, with this thing, I'll shoot it first so you can see it. Okay. Do not pussyfoot it. See, what you gotta do is just manhandle it with a, with a one shot and then just. Come on. Come on, bro. Hear the sound of that fucking handgun. Are you insane? First, so you can see it. Okay. Do not. Pussy what the See, what you fuck? Do is just manhandle it with a with a one shot and then just. Fucking hell, bro! I would be taking niggas out. I swear to God, I would be clapping niggas with this shit. I'm so fortunate I don't live there. I'd be clapping my. I'd, I'll be waiting for the day someone trespasses on my property. Boom! Fuck off, man. Look, if you're a 14 year old kid, don't step foot into my house. You try to take my fucking my laptop and shit, boom, try to steal my camera, boom, we try to take my kid's tablet, boom, I mean, fucking hell, can you imagine hearing somebody come into your house, you'd be, look, you'd be, you'd be smiling looking for that strap under your bed, smiling, like putting the fucking key code into the fucking thing, like, you'd be so happy, rolling down the stairs, you see them, boom, <laughs> It'd be so fun. That's the key. The key is looking cool. Uche, don't nobody want your laptop, Uche. <laughs> Uche. <sighs> <laughs> Imagine they take my laptop. They'll be so pissed when they get home. They'll be so fucking pissed. Why do I have to keep restarting this to play YouTube videos? What's going on? Oh, the whole time, but not letting anybody know that you just probably hyperextended your wrist. Oh god. Look at the recall on that shit. I know. Sex. Yo, yo, that nigga was firing that shit with one hand. So that shit must have some crazy recoil in it. Brendan can't even handle it with two, and he's a big dude. <laughs> Pure sex. Kind of gay, bro. Guns are not sex. They're cool, but they're not sex. Uh, I'm sure there's guys out there that stick guns up their ass, isn't it, right? That must be a thing, isn't it? That must be a kink. There must be a subreddit for that. Guys who stick guns up their ass or, or put the fucking, you know, where the trigger thing is around their dick and like show it hanging out. That must be a thing. There must be that. Must be gun porn too. Where they put both guns to the side of their dick like that, right? And they make like a little triangle. They put both guns like that. All right? That must be a thing also. Coffee meeting, eh? Man, Brendan had a good life, bro. Brendan had a good life. He was getting flown out to meet a couple of lads in Texas making hardcore coffee for the mandem. Like, he had a good fucking life, bro. His own brew, his own roast, right? I don't even think it's even a T Fat K roast. I think it was a Brendan Shaw roast. That's the funny thing about it. It wasn't even like a T Fat K one. It was a Brendan Shaw thing. F crazy. Ah, yeah, uh, Hotel Emma. Yeah, Brendan always brags, but I think Brendan's got a deal with this place, right? Brendan, if you, if you know the law about T Fat K, you'll know Brendan always, always fucking boasts about this hotel. I don't know if this hotel 
has like a baddies menu or something. Maybe they have like a little menu under your table that you can check secret one and they'll fucking, you know, they, you have a list of fucking, you know, nice and edible, you know, 19 to 22 year olds. I don't know. But he used to love talking about Hotel Emma, Hotel Emma, Hotel Emma, Hotel Emma. Maybe you got like some sort of deal, yeah? free rooms or something. I don't know. Because he sold out Texas, right? He gets free rooms. I don't know. But he used to love this place. Waiting on the uh, ever tall and handsome Brendan Schaub to check into his hotel room. Then we're going to grab a nice cup of Joe. Not a man. Coffee. And then you know what? If you, inv if you fly me to Texas, you want me to do a deal, don't wait downstairs in the lobby for me to check in. Maybe you go to the place... And I'll meet you there. I'll meet you guys there later. Let me change, wash my pussy, you know, get some fucking, you know, maybe have a quick wank before I leave, check my phone, you know, text back my wife and shit, whatever. But don't be sitting down in the lobby for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why go on for this? What's all this pressure? Why do you have to be in my fucking ass? Like, I know you flew me over there, but go to the place, man. I'll meet you there. Uh, chill. And we're going to go podcast for drinking bros. And it is going to be a swell, fun, great time. Black Coffee HQ, yeah? Podcast time. Content time. Three, two, one. Double clap. <laughs> Showtime goes, all right, what are we going to do now? I said, man, I'd love to do like a comedy variety late night show with fighting and comedy. And here's my pitch. And that's how Below the Belt came to the Showtime. And I don't think it that's such a horrible show. It's a Showtime green, green light in that thing and wasting that much money. They deserve, you know, going bankrupt and going under. They, they put some dumb money behind some dumb projects. I'm thinking I'll do like a variety show that's like got comedy and like fighting on it where I have like these sketches and I'll turn what? Below the belt into like UFC version of Saturday Night Live. Huh? Okay. And here's my pitch and that's how Below the Belt came to the showtime. And I don't think a lot of people know, but like Burt Kreischer has a, a uh, his style of comedy is something that I gravitate towards most and it's more like my style. Brendan's North Star. Brendan's original North Star was Burt Kreischer. Can you believe that? how funny that is because some people would say Burt Kreischer is now turning into Brendan some people are saying Burt is now turning, in, turning into Brendan funny how things happen isn't it wow imagine your North Star being a 50 year old functioning alcoholic who takes off his t-shirt on stage to get cheap laughs and who wants to you know relive his fucking college frat days in his fucking late 50s. Can you imagine that? That being your hero. That's your hero. Yuck. So when I need help, I go to him, you know, and, and he really, uh, he, he's my guy. But th then also there's guys like Joey. By, by the way, he's not his guy anymore because of the Bobby Lee shit. And Joey Diaz isn't his guy anymore because, you know, Joey Diaz flip flops. And I don't think he's ever liked Brendan, to be fair. I don't think he's ever respected Brendan for the shit. Say we want about Joey. He's a comedy purist. But I don't think he's ever respected Brendan. We know that because of the episode he did where he said, oh, I didn't really understand why you're going to stand up. I was kind of annoyed. Da, da, da. But I don't think Joey's ever respected the fact that Brendan never earned his stripes. He came straight in at the top end. He never did open mics. And you know how Joey Diaz always talks so glowingly about struggling and having to fucking, you know, lick girls pussy from a fucking window and share a fucking sub sandwich with a fucking stripper. Like he loves all that fucking hard life, hard knock story, right? The, the more gritty and raw it is, the better. Brendan got given comedy with a fucking platinum spoon, bro. You know, he he got given a chrome he got given a chrome heart spoon to eat his coffee out of or to eat his fucking yogurts out of. Do you know what I mean? He was drinking from a fucking true religion fucking bowl, right? He was drink he was drinking out of a goblet made from fucking Louis Vuitton leather bags. You know what I mean, he never had to drink from a dingy dive bar, a plastic cloudy cup right or a pint mug that had like stains from of lipstick from the previous person that drank it but they didn't wash it properly he never had to grind so i don't think joe Diaz ever really liked brendan in my personal opinion joe Diaz, who will call yeah. me on a wednesday my cocksucker what are you doing i'm like what 
He's just calling to check in on me. Let, let me ask you something. I would love to know how many times Joey has called him now. I'm sure your listeners are like, fuck sakes, Brendan. But when you want to do special forces, can, you, can anyone sign up for it? Obviously, you have to pass tests, but you, so you enlist as a regular. As long as, you, as long as you qualify with the medical standards and you meet, you meet certain standards, yes, everybody can say, I want to try. Within reason, so you have like different, you know. Is this redu- du- redundant for your listeners? Or no, 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 no. It's fine. Yeah. So it's it. You can't call it special. Forces. Is this redundant? For, is this redacted for your listeners? Yeah. Or so it's special operations. It essentially encompasses and umbrellas all of the different facets of, of the military, whether it's Rangers, Marsoc, seals. Raiders, Seals, Rangers, Special Forces, and then higher tier down, tier down. But like when I did, I joined. I went to basic training, OSET, which is infantry school. After then airborne school, then I got to go to the selection process for becoming a ranger once that passed and then you know we have these things hey guess what if you didn't kill anybody i don't care i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie if you, if you just clean people's rifles and you emptied out the fucking bins and shit i don't fucking give a shit about your special forces experience bro did you kill innocent civilians yes or no if you did i'll buy you a drink it's like the ranger battalion better better yet if you killed them in third world countries did you go to third world countries under the guise of trying to instill in a democracy and then you murked an entire family and wiped out an entire fucking generation yes then i'll buy you a fucking pint and a shot and i'll give you a bump let's fucking go the ranger regiment was created to go into an enemy occupied area and seize their airfields so we created a shock troop force of highly trained dudes that can parachute in and fuck an airfield up so then we can start landing planes and getting troops in i'm a lightweight these days this has made me a pussy oh me too man i'm gonna ask him to be my date do it yeah my main date i'll be your side piece yeah yeah Yeah. i love this kind of banter isn't it dude imagine if like we all left our wives and we just started fucking each other and then like the, our wives came looking for us and then they opened the door of this hotel room and they just saw us fucking Eiffel towering each other and shit and then Brendan you like bustle over my mouth and then I used that as like a face mask and then I was peeling it off as it dried like PVA glue like we did back when we were school kids and shit imagine how funny that would be dude dude imagine if I took this AR-15 and I shoved it up your ass dude and then as I was about to pull the trigger a little bit of pre-cum came out and then it hit that guy in the ear and then he took some of that ear stuff and he put it on one of his pimples right and that kind of changed everything for him just imagine could you imagine how fun that would be dude can you imagine how fun that'll be, dude? What? 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 You want to go to California next week? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you want to do this? Sure. Yeah. Joel, I heard you're supposed to come, man. You missed out on the best <laughs> podcast ever and hangout session. Yeah, you, you fucking listen to Drinking Bros then, oh, Abel. Dude. Love you, miss <laughs> you. You fucked up. You, you don't fucked up. We're making funny clips to send to our... Look, he's wearing one of those rubber rings that all the hard guys wear, right? That's how you show you work out and you shoot guns. You have these, like, silicone wedding band things on, right? These fucking condom rings, right? They kind of remind me of condoms. You know the top, top bottom of the condom? You've got that little ring, right? It kind of reminds me of those, kind of the little hard bit of a condom that you put around your finger to show that you work out because you can't wear a metal ring because you just lift too many barbers. You're always fucking snatching, cleaning and jerking and shit or firing a gun. So you need to fucking have the silicone. Fuck off, man. Try hard cunts. Just wear a wedding ring or don't wear one. These fucking bat, like, oh. God. So this is our I good really friend, Sean it. O'Connell, who uh, fights at a Jeremy Horn's gym, uh, our sparring partner. We didn't sponsor him, but apparently he just wanted to uh, troll us and put Black Rifle over all of his... Uh- Hold on, is that the guy that was insulting Brendan before? Is that why Brendan's looking weird? Is that the guy that doesn't like Brendan? Or is that the guy that Brendan was hating on? Big up uh, Victoria in Japan. What is Eiffel Towering? <laughs> what is Eiffel Towering? Don't you dare. Don't you dare super chat me that. Don't you dare. How dare you? You know what it is. If not, Google's your fucking friend. Don't don't try. Who do you think? Who try to be innocent? What is Eiffel Towering? What is a, ri- what is a rim job? Huh? What is edging? Huh? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> As if.
uh, his <laughs> shirt and shorts today. <laughs> Speaking of fighting, we have Brendan Schaub in the house today. Oh, hey. There's a mic. <laughs> yes. What do you think of fighting, Brendan? Just super yeah. general. Yeah. How's yeah. fighting? What do you feel about Conor McGregor? So what's next for Conor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're, we were going to do some coffee with you. Just a bunch of lads. Look at that, though. He had a, he had a thing called... Oh, his name's not even on it. You know what's funny about this? His name's not even on it. Brenda's name's not even on the bag. It says American Coffee, Black Rifle Coffee Company. It says Bigger, Badder, Browner. Kind of gay, not going to lie. Bigger, Badder, Browner sounds like shit. Bigger, Badder, Browner. Hmm. Big Brown Coffee Co., Dark Roast, which is funny because Brennan hates dark-skinned people, allegedly, maybe just blacks, who knows. Los Angeles, California. But it doesn't actually say Brendan's name on it. It just says Big Brown Coffee. I wonder why. It doesn't actually say his name, you know? We're super excited. Redak Roast, right? CTE Roast. Mushmouth Roast. That's what it should have been fucking called. I know, man. There's another one called Freedom, Freedom Fuel. Honestly, man. Americans, like... It's even with the weed. Some people will sell you shit weed in America with those fancy bags, right? With crazy graphics. And it's just some budge weed. Like, what is this? Freedom fuel. Yeah? Coffee is a sign of freedom now. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know why I'm making that mouth, but, you know, maybe I do. Redact. And I'm super pumped. Which I, I reached out to you guys. I harassed you guys to do this. I, I don't know about that, because, you, you know. You don't think so? We were, we're I feel at, like we I was that up. stalker ex-girlfriend. I'm like, no. come on. But it's it started because. I oh, that's interesting. Papa reaching out for sponsors. I think he does that. I think he used to do that more often than we like to believe or that we that, that he would like you to believe. He, he makes it seem like everybody reached out to him, but I bet you that was something that he did quite often. Tagging people, then DMing them. Hey, it's Big Brown here. Don't know if you know me, but... No name equals they could play it off as a generic brown PPL joke for the mouth breathers. Uh-huh. I see. Big up NJ Ranger. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of fucking sense. That actually does make a lot of sense. No brain, no name it leaves it open to interpretation, right? Maybe it's a big brand lifestyle, right? Maybe big brands are, is a philosophy, <laughs> is a way of mind, is a way of thinking. Like what? Anyway, I don't know. Big up NJ, appreciate you NJ Ranger. Let's come, let's go, let's go. I got, uh, so I did the movie with you guys. Yeah. You guys sent me coffee. Did a movie? Oh, I have to watch this. What the f Okay, I'm definitely going to have to... This is a Patreon episode. I know I haven't updated Patreon in a while, but I'm going to watch this on Patreon and I'm going to upload the video for everybody on there, okay? It's gonna. It's only $1 to sign up to the Patreon. Don't be fucking tight. If you want to watch it, I'm going to download this today and I'm going to fucking watch it. I have to. Wow, I did not know this existed. Range 15. I have to, I have to watch this. I have to. I have to watch this. I'm a coffee connoisseur, to say the least. Yeah. I was upset. The coffee was... I was obsessed with it. I was pursuing another company, and I was like, man, I'd love to work with Black Rifle. And then we had a mutual friend in Lex, mm -hmm. who's my old manager. Yep. Oh, Lex was the old manager. So who took over from Lex? So Lex at one point was fired for another manager. I wonder if this is happening. Look, I wonder if this is the case. I wonder if Brendan had Lex as a manager from before. Not Lex Freedom, another Lex. He gets him as a manager. Then when he starts blowing up, he starts to become too big time. Then he gets another manager, maybe a CAA one, and he leaves Lex behind. But now that, because I have a feeling, I don't know about you guys, but I have a feeling. This is just my, my, my hunch. I think Brendan got dropped from CAA. I don't think he's represented by them anymore. I think he does all these things himself and through Lex. That's what I think. I don't think there's any CAA booking with him anymore so maybe that's why lex came back on board and lex is the guy that infamously you know fired george that's my that's my hunch i'm gonna say brendan's not with caa anymore i don't think you could see on the website anymore roster who they got but i think brendan got dropped by caa yeah and then he reached out to you guys yeah because I, I was about to pull the trigger on that other one but i'm like i love this coffee hey yo big up uh big up joe what's that big up joe joe died the flame what's going on bro joe died the flame what's good what's good thank you for joining Smash the like if you just joined. Everybody else, smash the fucking like. Don't be fucking stingy. Mad 
love to work with those guys. But I didn't know if you only worked with like military veterans or anything like that. I don't know if you only worked with white guys, basically, you want to say it because <laughs> he's, you know, racially ambiguous. I don't know if you only worked with like white guys and stuff. I know you got that black guy, but you know, come on, he's about as, you know, he's about as black as Chappelle Lacey. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's anybody in the shared space, right? It's obviously, we're a, a pro-veteran company coming from where we come from, but like, you know, the MMA space, there's so many parallels, right, between you guys. Being able, only in America, you could create a multi-million dollar business primarily centered around veterans. That must be a small community of people, but you guys spend so much money and you make so much money over there that you could have a, you could make a niche product of coffees primarily aimed at patriots and veterans and make so much money. Can you imagine how that, how crazy that is? I don't think you could ever do that in the UK. You could ever, never make a, a, a coffee specifically for people that worked in the, you know, that were, that served in the fucking army, right? And that was um, British or English centric. It wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd probably be called a racist of it if you did that. It's pretty incredible that you can do that, man. That's that's what that's what makes America amazing. The possibility like I think in one sense, the fact that you're you know, you as a nation, they tell you you can be anything, I think is does your disservice. I think that whole like, you know, you can be whatever you want to be thing in America, the American dream is a bit nuts. But I think it's helpful in some ways because once you you can actually do anything. But then it gives people false hope because some people can't do anything because, you know, they're fucking redacted. But but when you do do everything, you can make tons of fucking cash doing it. Like you have re you have reality TV stars in your country who are multimillionaires. We don't have that. We have some, but not all of them. You have a, a lot of reality TV show stars that can go to nightclubs and do appearances and shit. Walkthroughs. Do you know what I mean? Like actual legit celebrities <laughs> people have taken their pictures in the street and running after them and shit it's fucking insane it really is insane but you know you do sell people a dream so it kind of is a bit sad in that respect is and what we do that team spirit so it was like a fucking shoe in day one so i'm super stoked i can't wait you only get two cups of coffee a day it better be amazing right? <laughs> is that what you do now too uh, I'll, I'll do like a latte with extra shots in the morning. Then is that, I'll wait, is that like the wine chick that's like, I only have one glass and it's a yeah. whole bottle? Where <laughs> I'm like, an ad. I had one cup and it's four so I'm four like scratching shots. my back. Yeah. 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 He wanted to lie there. You see him wanting to lie. There was a section there where he wanted to lie. But they asked him, how many do you drink? And he went to prove because he wanted the sponsorship really bad. I drink all of them. Coffee is my life. Actually, I actually went, I didn't actually went to play football. I actually went to be a, you know, a coffee maker but my dad pushed me into coffee into fucking comedy or into you know football look you went to lie is that he went to lie look he went to lie look this was like a fucking shoe in day one he went to lie here i'm super stoked i can't wait you only get two cups of coffee a day it better be amazing <laughs> <laughs> is that what you do now too uh, I'll <laughs> uh, he went to lie. I'll do like a latte with extra shots in the morning. Then is that, wait, is that like the wine chick that's like, I only have one glass and it's a whole bottle. Where <laughs> I'm like, an ad. I had one cup and it's four so I'm like shots. scratching my neck. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just love coffee, man. Hey, yo, big up NJ Ranger. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Kendall only got an invite. To be fair, I think, I think there's, um, I don't, this is my controversial opinion. I don't like the psyop that's being run at the moment to convince the public to hate the kardashians and think it's over with you don't get to do that to us you you know hollywood whoever they are you you push these motherfuckers onto us you made these people important you don't get the right now to tell us when it's over we decide when it's over if we still like watching them we like watching them stop trying to put like i see too many headlines of like oh the sales are down bruh shut the fuck up leave us alone we don't give a fuck or we do give a fuck but i don't like this it's, it feels almost it's, it feels almost like mind control oh they didn't get invited and do we know that's even true do they did, are they away somewhere did are they in i don't know the theme of this met gala is pretty shit anyway as well like there's not much real room to kind of express yourself and do something wacky anyway i don't know i think it's all weird i think it's all weird bro it's a fucking it's it's it, it, they're trying to control your brain bro they're trying to get to you through the Kardashians they're trying to convince you that they're over because you'll convince yourself that your life is over and then boom you'll blow your fucking head off that's what I think 
<laughs> That's great. And you were on the podcast today. We knocked that out, Drinking Bros. That was and then... fun. It was basically me interviewing you guys about military. We always joke. Like, you throw a ranger in a fucking... Oh, look at that. I'm a st I'm s I'm a metrosexual. Look at look at that leg. Look at that leg cross. You can't see it because the stream chat's covering it. Actually, let me let me look, let me make the thing smaller so you can see it. <laughs> look at that leg cross. Look at that leg cross. Look at that. Eh? Look at that. Look at that vag. Look at that pussy, bussy bussin. We love that, innit? We love that bussy bussin. Like, uh, 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 uh. That's it, bro. We love that. We love that. Let's go. Blake, I'll, I'll drown myself to death. But I'm the first one to, you know, head punt down the door and shoot someone in the face. Your <laughs> listeners are like, God damn it. Man. They'll be mad at us because we talk too much about military bullshit. Because you do what, three episodes uh, a I week? Do two fighting the kids, one uh, below the belt, which is an all fight show. And then might strike up another one with me and Theo Vaughn. Of oh, course. Sting and the King. Uh -huh. Sting and the King, of course. Look at old Theo, man. When Pia was green to podcasting, love Brendan. Look at the smile. Like they were they must have made so much money back in those days when AdSense was good and their views were organic as well. It wasn't like the hmm, don't get me wrong, I probably were buying views, but still they were getting a lot of real views too. Whew. I just realized Did they copy this from Rogan? Look, they got the picture of Biggie before he died, I'm guessing, and the picture of Tupac before he died. Did they copy stuff from Rogan? Because Rogan's got a picture of like, who's he got a picture of? He's got like a mugshot of somebody in it on his walls. Isn't this a copy of Rogan's thing? Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. These guys suck Rogan's dick more than Rogan's fucking wife, innit? I bet you. These guys give Rogan more blowies than his own wife. Fucking hell. Me the beast thing, I call him the rat king. Are you are you mad, Biff? Hey, how you doing, sir? Are you mad, Biff? Yes, how you doing? Holy shit. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> you see that stolen valor? That was my stolen valor photo fish. That, that's me like me going, oh, you Matt, me can I get a picture of all? That's okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brendan's a bit drunk, isn't it? Drugs is Brendan's a bit tipsy. You see his voice? You can tell Brendan's tipsy, isn't it? Everyone's got that kind of friend. Yeah. Brendan's a bit tipsy, isn't it? Brennan's a bit drunk. Listen. Valor, I put that. That was my stolen Valor photo fish. He's a bit drunk, isn't it? That, that's like me going. Uh, you da, 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 da. That's, that was my stolen Valor photo fish. That, that's like me going. That's, that was my stolen Valor photo fish. That, that's like me going. 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 That, that's like me going, oh, Matt, can I get a picture of him? <laughs> He's definitely okay. drunk. He's definitely drunk. <laughs> oh. Anyways, big up Black Rifle Company. Big up Brendan Shaw. What a good time to be alive. That was back in the day when things were sweet and things weren't as shitty as they are now. When things weren't as shitty as they are now. Let's fucking move on. Let's move on. Cool. Pick up the stream chat. Please like the stream if you're enjoying this pod. Or if you're enjoying the stream, please like it. Um, liking the stream is a sign of your allyship. So if you like black people and you don't mind niggas, then like the stream. If you don't like niggas, what can I say? What can I say? But if you're an ally, you know what to do. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. If you're an ally, you you know what to do. If you don't do it, you know you're a bad person. 